Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of incomplete abortion. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for more than two months. She had complained for pervaginal bleeding and severe lower abdominal pain for one day. She had also given the history of taking abortifacient drugs. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see some irregular heterogeneous substance noted within the uterine cavity, both in longitudinal and transverse sections. This is the right ovary and this is the left one. So on transverse section, you can see the heterogeneous area quite well. On color Doppler, you can see a good amount of flow towards this heterogeneously hyperechoic area, indicating the presence of trophoblastic tissue. You can see a prominent blood supply on the longitudinal section, indicating the presence of trophoblastic tissue within the uterine cavity. So this feature suggested as a case of retained products of conception or incomplete abortion. You can see the catheter balloon within the urinary blood lumen. Here's the picture. You can see the irregular mixed echogenic substances within the uterine cavity, both in longitudinal and transverse sections. Here's the transverse section with color Doppler, and you can see the prominent flow towards the retained products, indicating the presence of trophoblastic tissue. So, in summary, irregular mixed echogenic substances are noted within the uterine cavity without any presence of fetal pole or yolk sac, indicating it as a case of incomplete abortion or retained products of conception. Now the take-home message. In confusing cases, color Doppler may help see flow towards the trophoblastic tissue, thus confirming retained products of conception. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.